Hey what's up guys this is Sunip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to use awesome window manager with XFCE so without wasting any more time let's get started. Now open your terminal and install these following packages. I'm using pacman-s because I am using arch based system but if you are using Ubuntu then use apt install. First package is awesome window manager itself. The next package is the menu for opening your applications the third is nitrogen for changing your wallpaper and the third fourth one is pycom which is a window compositor After installing those packages, close your terminal and download the two files rc.lua and pycom.com from the link in the description box below. It is configured so that the awesome will run with XFCE desktop. So after you have downloaded those files, go to your home folder and go to the .config folder and create a new folder called awesome and then another folder called pycom. Now copy and paste rc.lua file in the awesome folder and pycom.com file in the pycom folder. You can also open and change the config file to suit your needs. I have just made the config file so that it works better with XFC desktop but you can always change it for yourself. Now open XFC settings manager and go to the session and startup. Then go to current session and set the startup type of XF WM4 to never and then XF desktop to never and some other XFC applications to never as well. Then click on save session and then go to application auto start and click on this plus icon and type name description and command as awesome and then save it now go back to settings manager and go to the keyboard section now remove all the xfce key bindings Now all we need to do now is to log out of this session and log in back again. But before that make sure to remove the bottom panel as well if you don't want it. Now let's log out and log in back again. Now when you log in make sure that you are choosing the XFCE session from the desktop menu as, which is at the top corner in most of the display managers now you will see that we are using xfce desktop but the window manager is awesome so it replaced xfwm4 which is xfce window manager with awesome window manager
here on the XFC panel you can right click on the workspace to select workspace settings and change the workspace view to buttons just like in polybar you can also right click on the panel and select properties then select panel preferences and you can change the panel to your liking you can put the workspace switcher to the left side and then all your status icons to the right side you can also adjust panel height in xfc panel you have the application menu by default but if you don't want it you can also remove it and just use the d menu for launching applications You can also change your theme by using the XFC default appearance settings. So first of all, I'm going to download one theme called Plata Colors. And let's try to change the theme to it. While the theme is downloading, I'm going to open a terminal and download Firasan's font and Papyrus icon theme. Here as you can see as I open more windows, it is automatically tiled. So in this way you can achieve your know, tiling windows in XFC desktop. So finally our theme is downloaded now I'm just going to extract it and paste it in the dot themes folder in the home directory you you can also create your own themes and put them in your dot themes folder and your icons in dot icons folder and if you have any fonts you can put them in dot fonts folder in in the home directory Now after you have copied the themes, now if you open XFC settings manager and go to appearance you will see that you have, there is a list of themes that you have just copied. Now you can select the theme from here and it will change it for the all your applications and windows. You can go to the icon tab and change your icons to your liking and then you need to go to the fonts and you can also change the fonts, your desired fonts. Now let's try to set a new wallpaper using nitrogen. So first of all I'm going to open my browser and search for a wallpaper and download one.
now open nitrogen and go to the preferences and select the folder where your wallpapers are stored and then after we have loaded the wallpaper just click on the wallpaper and select the wallpaper type as zoomed or scaled and then click on apply as you can see your wallpaper will be automatically applied and in rc.lua there is nitrogen restore application auto start already added so you don't need to worry about the wallpaper on next boot now instead of going to the applications menu and launching applications manually by clicking on it you can just press super key plus d to open d menu and just type the name of the application and it will automatically launch it for you just by typing and pressing enter so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel thank you